Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 42. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, welcome to the final special machine festival race. This is around the Suzuka circuit. This is it. This is the finale of Tourist Trophy, the final episode. And this this series has come just short of um, Test Drive Unlimited on PS2. But when you think about it, my second longest series has been Test Drive Unlimited on the PS2. And my third longest series has been this now, Tourist Trophy. That's pretty impressive. This has this series is longer than my car mechanic series. So, pretty impressive. So we're going to go to Suzuka. We've got ourselves 10 laps around this beautiful circuit. Let's go. Right, here we go. The final race. Suzuka circuit. 10 laps. Let's do this. And we're off. We've got our hard tyres equipped, which is mandatory for this track, definitely. I mean, we survived New York with uh, medium tyres, but this track, it's mandatory. You will not survive even five laps with medium tyres. By the time you've done five laps, your rear tyres will be nearly completely gone anyways. So as soon as you're on your sixth lap, you're struggling. In fact, that would be a cool test. Is there a point where your tyres are just like, nah, give up? Because there probably is a point. Just we haven't found it yet. Okay, that didn't go well. Yeah. Big oofs there. Big oofs. We got 10.9 seconds to try and gain. But so far, we have ridden every single bike in the game. The fact is, this track doesn't have, like, overtaking opportunities like other tracks in this game. Here we go, nice. The fact is though, this track feels much better to drive around than uh, Grand Valley just because it's so different on every single corner. There isn't duplicate corners like you get with... Um... Wow, okay. I just fell over just fell over and we're going to be like 12 seconds behind oh 10 seconds still just as bad to be fair all of these bikes that I've ridden so far out of these special ones have been very similar there's not been too much to uh too different Awesome. I think we had a really rubbish entry to that corner, so we had to slow down big time. Gaining a lot of time though now. Uh 
Perfect. I'm trying to get this position, but this bike won't let me have it. Wow. We've the bike red bike just weaves in front of me, causes me to have to swerve. Urgh! Unbelievable. This is why I hate AI bikes sometimes, because they're just annoying. This is gonna be 25 minutes of just hell. At least we got that corner right. But the AI can somehow cut that um, second corner. Oh, the other bike fell over. Haha. <laughs> Bad luck, mate. Obviously, me going slow in front of bikes always puts them off in that section. But then the AI isn't programmed. Apparently, to have like avoidance techniques, it will just crash into you if it needs to. So, I don't see why it falls over. It just feels like, you know, sliding across the floor. Awesome. That works. And out of this exit, look at that. Insane. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Very nice. Right, and on the brakes. That is a perfect time to start slowing down. Oh no! What the hell happened there? I tried to do the AI tactic and it still doesn't work. Ah, oh, I'm back down to 10 seconds. 8.9. Ah, oh, ridiculous. How come the AI can do that then, but I can't? Because I get, just get penalized by slowing down and like being made to crash. Trying to stay ahead of this other bike as well. I'm also not reattempting this today. So if we fail, then uh, series, we don't finish this race at all. Like, I am packing up after today. No more videos till after my three week break. So if you're seeing this, then we won the race. Pretty simple. And if you're not seeing this, well, what's the point in saying that? <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Nice. 
We go safely got round that corner. Perfect. Look at that. Result. We're going to try a little bit after the timing line this time. Yeah, that is much better. I thought the bike behind went thud and fell over, but uh, apparently not. Okay, this is after this lap we'll be at the halfway mark. It feels like ages, like we've been doing this for ages. Perfect. Okay, I can see us catching up quite dramatically to the bike in front now. I can see the bike. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, come on. That's a fast corner as well, so that's a lot of speed loss. Unbelievable. That's a huge amount of speed lost. Wow. Well, we are halfway through. We're just going to have to focus on trying to get that back. We haven't even hit first place yet. That is ridiculous. Perfect. Seven point one. We are getting in a second per like half a lap, which is a confusing thing. Because then I'm losing it all by crashing on the same corners that I've crashed the entire series. Which is the long straight, which is ridiculous because the braking zone, there are no markers. You have to just brake slightly afterwards. This corner, coming up now, which I've sort of taught myself to just brake way too early. And now I can't get out of that habit. And then that final chicane where it is actually physically impossible because of the fact that it goes so extremely downhill that you have to brake earlier than even early would expect you to brake. 
Like, that is slow, first of all. That was a big corner cut. What's this looking like now? 6.5. That's an overtake on lap 10. Gonna be a push. This bike is horrendous though, or any of these bikes. Why is it the bikes and cars that this these corners around Suzuka are just never in the right gear? And if especially these bikes, the high end and the low end is massive. We've definitely gained two seconds in that section. Easy. Even more. We might actually get our overtake that we're looking for on the next lap. Perfect. One seconds. Fair enough. Okay, there we go. We got a nice corner there. I'm just doing what the AI did. It's not cheating if the AI does it too. Perfect. Come on, let's get this finished. It's been a long day for me. And it means tomorrow I can actually have a good rest. I'll finish off the series by sorting out the thumbnails and everything tomorrow. But it should be all done. Oh, we're in first place. I didn't even notice. <laughs> hey. Finally. Awesome. We're looking at an impressive lead already. 1.8 seconds. Really good corner there. I think the other bikes actually suffering with uh, tire wear. There must be, because there is no reason why we would have all of a sudden gained all that time for no reason. No way whatsoever. Here we go, coming up to the finish. To the timeline, sorry. I'm used to saying finish and shit like that when it's a point. Perfect. Bye bye AI. Onto lap number nine, the second to last lap.
awesome. Nice. Here we go. Across the line, there we go. Nice. Here we go, on to straight. I'm really excited for the PS5. Like, I'm so excited to actually try that out. We still don't know a release date. Still don't know about Gran Turismo 7. Though, I'm predicting it's going to be a launch title. Still don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Oh, no, no, no! Can we rely on this bike to slow down? No, we can't. Hey, hey, we got that lead back. Okay, we're going to have to focus now. This is the final lap. Got a bike coming up on our inside now. This is an intense final lap. Come on, we can do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is total concentration mode now. Trying to survive with pretty much a knackered rear tyre. But I presume the bikes, as long as the game is being fair and simulating the other bikes' tyre wear, I have a feeling they'd be suffering too. In fact, I don't have a feeling. I know they'd be suffering too, if that's the case. Got to be careful not to fall over there as well. Right, this is it. We have three corners, three major corners coming up. And these three major corners are the major ones for us because they're the ones that we mess up on. You can see the other bike is miles behind there for now. We're going to take a very early break. Breaking line here, so looking out for the timing line. We're going to break on it this time. You see the other bike massively gaining distance there. And there we go. That is it. That is it. No way! That's it done. 23.15.368. Wow. We have finished Taurus Trophy. Let's see what we got. And there we have it. The Kawasaki Z1000 Racing Modify. This is just a normal bike. Oh, I... I mean, I normally say that I don't like the exposed 
front forks, but I quite like that. And for the final bike that we earn, I'll take it. And there we go, guys. That is every single race in Taurus Trophy completed. That is insane. That is actually insane. It is done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button or check the link in the description for the donation link. We've also got our merch link as well if you want to get yourself some a pretty sick merch. And if you guys want to help um, get me to 250 followers on Twitter, check out the social links in the description. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Discord. It would mean the world to me if you can follow me on them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series because I definitely have. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.